the impending reconfiguration of Fruta's schools and proposed closure of Fruta 8-9 has staff members worried about there'll be, where they'll be next, year, next school year. But teachers aren't the only ones with concerns. Our Rin Lewis was there when students at Fruta 8-9 walked out this morning in protest. These teachers, you know, they've been working here a long time, working hard, a lot of dedication to this school, and uh, it's just not it's just not right or fair for them to uh, get fired. Students at Fruita 8-9 walked out of classes Friday morning in response to the district's proposed closure at the end of the school year. Kaya Schoenfeld, one of two walkout organizers, tells me the closure didn't sit right with her. I felt it was unfair that the middle school teachers had an a uh, guaranteed opportunity to teach at this school and that they nine teachers did not. Ava Brophy, the second organizer, said it's important to her that student input is heard. I think the district needs to hear our voice as students that we want the education that's fair. D51 officials were not available for interview at the time of the walkout, but spoke to our station earlier this week regarding rumors of staff being fired. Misinformation that's been out there is that uh, we're going to somehow fire all the staff at one of the schools, and that is not accurate. Uh, nobody's being fired from their job. Superintendent Dr. Brian Hill said the district will help find the displaced teachers other jobs in the district. We will have folks that will need to apply for positions uh, within the district, and our plan is to help them find those positions. And we're guaranteeing all uh, non-probationary staff uh, a guaranteed job for next school year. So again, nobody's being fired. We'll continue to keep you updated on changes to come in D51. Reporting on the Western Slope, I'm Rin Lewis. Come on.